Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. My name is Latia B and in today's video, I just want to answer a few questions that I have gotten over the last couple of days. If you follow me on Instagram or if you don't, my name on Instagram is the same as my YouTube channel name, So Dazzling. Go ahead and find me on there and of course, follow me on there. Um, but if you follow me on Instagram, then you may have seen me post about the different events that I have either volunteered at or worked at over the last three weeks. The first event that I um, volunteered at was called the Chicago's Healthy Hair Affair. And then the second one was the Chicago Stop of the Hue Affair Tour. And then most recently, I served as a brand ambassador for Design Essentials at the Chicago's Ultimate Women's Expo. Now, I've been asked, like, how did I find out about these events and how did I um, get the opportunity to either volunteer or serve as a brand ambassador? And to answer that question or those questions, pretty much, I followed people on Instagram, like brands and, you know, um, people who I know may, that may put on events. I follow them on Instagram and I really just try to stay up to date with what's going on. As a matter of fact... The young lady who put on the Chicago's Healthy Hair Affair, I think we're actually in one of the same, we're actually in the same um, group on Facebook, and then we just started following each other on Instagram, and I saw her post about it, so I decided to just, you know, help her out and volunteer at her event. And then for the Hue, Hue Affair Tour, same thing, the sponsoring um, brand for um, that tour was actually Myel Organics, and I do follow Myel Organics on Instagram so I found out not only through their Instagram but also another girlfriend um she volunteered at the New York stop um of the Hue Affair tour and I found out you know because she posted about it so I was like okay it's a sign I've seen it twice now so I'm gonna go ahead and volunteer for that and for that one that was actually a very interesting experience because when I got the volunteer instructions you know I was told you know to be there at this time da, 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 da. and then I got a follow-up email saying that I was going to be working with Camille Rose Naturals now initially I was like oh cool you know I'm gonna get to meet some people at you know Camille Rose Naturals and work with them and yada 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 Nah, me and two other young ladies who um, volunteered at this event actually worked the Camille Rose Naturals table. So it was so interesting because people were thinking that we were actually like brand ambassadors or worked for the company. But yeah, that was just a very fun experience all in itself. So basically, yeah, I um, just followed them on Instagram. And then when they posted about needing volunteers, I just reached out to them. And then I was accepted as a volunteer. And then we went from there. Now, for the most recent event that I worked, um, which was when I served as a brand ambassador to Design Essentials, they actually reached out to me. And the reason why I think they reached out to me is, one, because generally when I post on Instagram, I always use hashtags. And in a lot of my hashtags, you know, I'll put, like, Chicago Naturals or whatever, something that relates Chicago to Naturals. <laughs> and then, you know, they probably either went through that hashtag and found me or it could be because I also posted um, a product that I received from them in my swag bag from the Hue Affair tour. Um, and I made sure to tag them in my IG story. So it may also have been, you know, that way that they found me. So really, it's so important to make sure that whenever you're doing a review or, you know, whatever the case is, or when you're posting to Instagram, that you are definitely tagging the brands that you are using because you never know when they may reach out to you. So that was, that was really cool. That was, y'all, that expo <laughs> was way bigger than anything I've ever done. And it was just so overwhelming, but it was definitely a learning experience. And I truly enjoy um, working with Design Essentials. Um, and then one other thing too is that, Oh, okay, yeah, okay, sorry, let me back up. <laughs> so two things. Um, someone also asked me, how did I become a brand ambassador for Shea Moisture? Now, that came about, and I actually believe I talked about this in one of my older videos, but that came about because I follow Shea Moisture on Instagram. Again, you gotta be in the right place, right time, knowing the right people, you know. <laughs> but I followed them on Instagram, and I saw that they posted about needing brand ambassadors. And what you had to do was submit a video, I think it was like 30 seconds or one minute or something like that. You know, just a short video explaining to them what why you would make a good a brand ambassador so pretty much i just made my video i talked about how it was the first brand i ever used when i first went natural because i used that coconut hibiscus line like it wasn't nothing that was like my favorite line when i first went natural um 
So I, you know, basically just explain how they were the first brand I used and, you know, what my platform is and, you know, my YouTube channel and how, you know, my goal is really to help other people learn and embrace and just love their natural hair. So, I mean, after that, I was accepted. Um, so that is also has been really cool and I'm so pumped. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I was just thinking about it because my next box has been shipped. So make sure that you're on the lookout for my next Shea Ambassador box review. Um, and then the last thing is I actually just got my first, um, uh, well, I guess it's, well, it, it was my first cause I just had my second one recently, but my first paid, like, I don't know if it would be considered a sponsorship because they're not necessarily sponsoring me, but I got my first paid opportunity like a few months ago and y'all, I have been so ecstatic. I cannot wait to share with y'all. Um, what the products were and just share with y'all more give you guys more information about the brand that I'm working with um, but yeah that also came about because um, I would you know I have my YouTube channel so a lot of the reviews that I do aside from like the Shea Moisture stuff I generally do them because I have either bought the product or I've gotten the product as a gift so I really do it just because I want to do it um, and I did a video for, you know, some products from this particular brand and the owner of the brand saw the video and she was just so, you know, happy about the video and was just really excited. And so she pretty much offered me an opportunity to work with her and that has just been so amazing. So really I say all of that to say is that you have to put yourself in a position to where not only will you have the ability to reach out to people but you want to put yourself in a position where people will want to reach out to you you know what i'm saying so you just have to make sure that you're making quality content making sure that you are keeping up to date with all the brands like if there's a brand that you want to work with speak it into an existence because when i first started my youtube channel i made sure to like write down goals and one of my goals was to um, become a brand ambassador well no i take that back my first goal was to just work with you know a brand in general and that's when I got my opportunity to work with Curl Mix earlier this year. And I was a part of their photo shoot. And I, photo shoot. <laughs> I was a part of their photo shoot. And I was on their website for a very long time. And I was just like, whoa, okay, doors opening. And then after that, I was like, okay, now I gotta, you know, I gotta speak more things into existence. So I was like, okay, I wanna be a brand ambassador for a well known company, well known brand. Boom, Shea Moisture happens. Then I'm like, okay, I want to work with a well-known brand, like, you know, whatever. So then that's when the Camille Rose Naturals, like, working the Camille Rose Naturals table happened and being, you know, uh, contacted by Design Essentials happened. And I'm just like, okay, yeah, this is really working. So then I was like, all right, I want to I wanna get a check, all right? I want to make that goo up. I mean, I'm not really making goo up right now, but, you know, I want to make some money. So then that's when I got, you know, the opportunity with the brand that I'm currently collaborating with. And I'm just like, all right, I can do this. You know, so it's really all about sticking to what, whatever it is that you want to do, stick with it. Just continuously to grow in, you know, your craft. Continuously um, try to perfect your craft just to continue you know keep getting better at it and just make sure that you are staying up to date with you know the brands that you want to work with and most importantly speak things into existence and not only speak it into an existence um but writing it down because writing it down and making making a plan it makes a huge difference so anyhow that's all I really wanted to say in this video. Hopefully it's not too long. I really don't know. I'm going to try to edit it down if it is. Um, but I hope that it was helpful and I hope that it answered those questions for, you know, anyone who may be wondering. Um, but if you have any specific questions or, you know, if you need help with like, you need someone to just like get your media kit or, you know, something, something like that, then let me know down in the comment section. By the way, y'all, I love when you when you guys uh, comment on my videos because I love responding to videos and like, you know, me responding to comments and just having that conversation but um yes with that being said i'm done i'm rambling now so i need to go i'm actually really hungry and i'm starting to get hangry <laughs> but uh yeah i'll see y'all in my next video don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel and i will see y'all in the next one and be sure to always stay dazzling